Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Trade Genius Podcast. Philip here with Bob. And you know, we got another really good video for you. It's, it's like they're trying to kill us. Uh, Biden's trying to stop people from producing coal and Bob's gonna explain it all to you, but it's, it's really crazy, especially when we're going into winter and people gotta stay warm. That looks like it's gonna be really difficult. So check this out. Trade Junior. Okay, so Bob, you know, I, you know, you, I know you're all over energy. Um, this seems kind of bearish uh, because he basically they're looking to shut down coal production. Um, so take us through what's going on, and, and is it really bearish? Well, it might be bearish for people's lives down the line, but it's actually hugely bullish from a, a stock standpoint. So let me just set the stage here. Okay, I swear they're trying to kill us. I think they're definitely trying to kill the Europeans because South Africa ships a lot of their coal to Europe, and they're trying to shut down coal plants down. And just like how we set the stage, you know, with uh, natural gas, you know, with Russia. Well, guess who is the natural gas provider now for for Europe, right? The United States is the number one exporter of LNG around the world. Now, if you're a conspiracy theorist or you didn't really trust your government, you'd say, huh, what did they do there? And I guess I'll just refer you to Fox News and uh, Tucker Carlson for any, any further uh, insights on his feelings on that. But back to coal here. So natural gas was kind of like a fork foreshadowing now what they're trying to do with coal and before that what they try to do with the pipeline coming out of Canada. They're definitely trying to destroy infrastructure for fossil fuels. And he's trying to um, bribe the South African government to shut down the coal plants. But you know, you and I both know this because we're now seasoned veterans of the Ukraine money flow is that, yeah, we'll shut those coal plants down, give us the bill. And then soon that money is safely in the hands of the people they want to pay off and a portion of it kicking back towards uh, the, the right political parties elsewhere in the world. Uh, you know what? We need to really open those coal plants once again. Right. You know? And, uh, and yeah, so it's some sort of game. But the, the point is, though, they're, they're, they're just not stopping, even with outrageous prices that people have to pay to live. And, and But I want to show you guys um, why this is hugely bullish if you want to be in coal on the stock side. So if you, if you don't mind, flip it to the next slide, Phil, but I'll open it up to see if you had any further thoughts on what I just opened up with. No, it makes sense. And yeah, I think it's another waste of money in taxpayer dollars, uh, ultimately, because um, like you said, they'll probably end up reproducing it again. And it's like, what was that money sent out for? I mean, yeah. it's nothing new, right? This is just over and over and over and over again with the government. Yeah. Money laundry 101. Yeah. All right, so here's the other thing here. So we found, I found a really good article, actually it was an abstract, on coal consumption between 2022 and 2025. And you have to look, you, you're going to have to just take Russia completely off the board here for Western Europe or Western Hemisphere because they're, um, they're just not going to be supporting Europe. But also China is, and India are, are consuming coal like there's no tomorrow. And if you guys haven't noticed lately, you know, people give me such a hard time about being Bob the Weatherman, but I'm very keenly aware of these cold weather things. And I think people don't understand from 2020, um, 2024 to 2028, it's supposed to be the, the, the depths of this global solar minimum. And we're already feeling the effects of it over the last couple of years. But this winter, we're, we're jacking up and you need thermal units to live. And so between now and 2025, until other you know, like nuclear or or uh, LNG or or they have some sort of abatement with Russia, you know, they're going to be using coal. And and here's a chart that's showing the coal consumption going up in 2025. America, we export a lot of coal. So there's two kinds of coals out there. There's coal for heating and there's coal for uh, making um, uh, steel. And the United States has a lot of coal. And, and the company I want to talk to you about is Peabody. And uh, they have, they're, they're huge in the uh, in Wyoming, Powder River Basin. And I am just like, I'm just like a nut on this this stock. So I'm always looking to buy dips on this. And on Friday, I went ahead and I, I pushed the chips in for uh, 1,000 shares just for my IRA. That's how strongly I feel about it, taking it out of my trading account. Because I think going into the first quarter of 2023, Peabody was really, really a damaged uh, company. They had a lot of debt. And the debt had loan covenants on it, Phil, where a loan covenant means saying, if you, as long as you owe us this money, you can't pay your executive a certain amount, you can't do dividends, you can't do stock buybacks, your cap, your your capital expenditures have to be such and such, whatever. They had a pretty restrictive loan covenants on them. 
Well, going into the first quarter coming out of this year, uh, fiscal year 2022, those loans are paid off. Or if they wanted to, they can just um, renegotiate the loans because they have their cash flow is overwhelming at either expenses and debt. And what BTU is going to do, and they already announced this. That's why I, I can't believe the stock's not higher than it is. They've already announced that once they're free from these loan covenances, they're going to they're going to start really, really adjusting or manipulating their balance sheet to provide shareholder returns. And what that means is buying back shares and paying dividends. And they'll probably do both. And that means you're going to start seeing the stock price really, really ramp up. And right now, they have, there's a double top sitting there around 33 bucks. And then above that, that next number, I think it's around 37. And correct me if I'm wrong, Phil, the one above that is around 45. Can't really see the chart. 40, 47, 80, almost $48. $48. And those are prior peaks going back years on, on BTU stock. And uh, those, are, those are what I'm using as my roadmap. As you can see here, we, uh, you know, the Ranger is saying buy dips. Um, moving VWAP is saying we're over it. Every time we test it, we lift from that. The heat has been above the... Uh, uh, our bull bear line, and uh, and we're we're in a nicely rising channel. So people are like worried about what can they own in 2023 with maybe going into recession. You have to buy things that don't care about recession. You know, things that people are gonna have to need to eat or heat their home or run businesses. You know, from a primary level, and I think this fits the bill. So I want to share it with you guys and uh, and throw it out there. And with that, Phil, thank you uh, for letting me share that. And guys, if you like what we offer. You know, uh, first of all, check us out at Trade Genius. I think you'll like our service. Uh, we educate you. We, we we throw you some trades to show you how the system works. We give you access to the uh, algorithms and the indicators that we've built, you know, while you use our service. And you can communicate with us. And you can look back at a back video here. We did a live stream on how we managed the Fed announcement. I think it'll give you some insight as to how Phil and I think and, and show you what we use. You know, because we're not guru-based here. We're math-based. And, and we, we, we think the market is not as scary and, and not as unpredictable as people think. There's definitely a, a rhythm to this, and we try to help you understand the rhythm. So hit like, hit subscribe, join our service, hit the notification bell. Um, you know, we think we offer things nobody else can offer in terms of insight and, and, uh, and knowledge. And, and plus, uh, it's a bunch of good people here trading, and you'll, you'll, you'll find a really good group. So thanks for that, Phil. Thanks for letting me share. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit uh, like and subscribe. Uh, smash that notification button, too, to be alerted when we release videos. We're doing them about six times a week, so staying current with all the different things going on in this crazy, crazy world. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Trade Genius.